Hi my beautiful Libras and welcome to my channel. This is going to be your October the 23rd until the 31st. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So for those of you guys that are new, welcome. And those of you that are returning, I'm so glad to have you. If you are new and you haven't yet subscribed, feel free to subscribe as that is always greatly appreciated. So I have two messages for you guys. For those of you guys that are interested in a personal reading that is just based on you and your person's energy alone, my website is listed in the description box below so you guys can um, feel free to check that out. And for those of you guys that are subscribed at the end of this month, I will be choosing one of you guys for a giveaway. So um, look out for that within the next week. And yeah, so let me start off with your tarot and then I will pull you guys some oracle cards. So let's see, what can we get for my beautiful Libras? Show me what Libras need to see for this week ahead. We have the Eight of Cups um, and the Page of Wands here. So with the Eight of Cups, the way the Eight of Cups came out on the side here, I am seeing that you guys are trying, some of you guys are trying to make a decision on whether or not to you know, walk away from something and have a new start. Some of you guys are on the fence on whether you should walk away or whether you, you know, whether you should continue with what it is that you're doing or whether you should have a new start. Others of you are wondering whether you should continue to be single or if you should, um, you know, start a relationship here. Some of you guys are coming out of a time of healing. Maybe you left a relationship and now is, uh, this is the week where something new is going to be coming into your life. All right, so in your past, okay, we have the Ace of Wands, Two of Cups, current, the Hermit, current, Six of Hazards is your current energy, and the Emperor. In your future, we have the Wheel of Fortune, very beautiful. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Wands. All right, you guys. So it definitely looks like there is a new opportunity here. Some of you guys are starting a new relationship with the fire sign. Some of you guys, there's going to be a fire sign coming into your life. There is a lot of passionate communication. Some of you guys could be on dating sites. Others of you, this is just that things are going very passionately with the person that you are dealing with. Um, in your past, there could have been a new relationship. For some of you, this is a relationship that is very new, maybe within the past uh, six months maybe I would say for some of you guys something very very fresh here um, somebody new has come into your life that has really sparked up a flame within you this is somebody that has a very mutual attraction to you you have uh, very mutual feelings for each other here this is somebody that came into your life and kind of just fit in perfectly with your life with the way things are going here I definitely sense that this is a soulmate connection the two of you guys recognize each other's souls you know some of you, this is somebody that you actually ended up meeting through another person. Others of you, this is somebody you met online. But for some of you, I'm sensing that you might have met this person like as you were walking around somewhere. Like this could have been like somebody that came up to you publicly. It's almost like when you looked at this person, there was this like look that lasted a couple more seconds and then somebody had to approach the other one. Um, it's like when you see this person, you can't just let them walk away. You know, you have to approach them. It doesn't matter if you're the feminine energy, if you're the masculine energy, there's just this magnetic pull between the two of you here. With the Hermit card here, I definitely sense that this is a healing energy. This is an energy where I'm sensing that <clears throat> you were definitely single when this person came in here and it's like there's a lot of people that are interested in you there's a lot of people that were attracted to you or this is your person's energy here but there were a lot of other people that were trying to get the attention of you the attention of the person that you're dealing with and as soon as you guys were fixated on each other that was it you know all those other options out the door it doesn't even matter for some of you this even goes a little bit further to where your friends family and even maybe co-workers aren't able to reach out to you because when you're with this person it's literally you two and nothing else nobody else you're just completely locked in completely you know tunnel vision focused on them they're focused on you you guys are communicating you're having fun you're having a great time everything's light everything's great and people are trying to reach out to you this could be you know via text social media whatever it is but it's like people aren't able to reach out to you so you ha may have to you know make sure that you are there or make sure that you are at least checking your phone you don't have to respond but just check to make sure in case it's an emergency because I do sense that you are really really involved with this person right now or you will be throughout this week here with the six of hazards this is you you know needing to balance out your life balance out your energy here you could be balancing out 
learning how to give and take between this new relationship and your family and your friends or between this relationship and your job your career here but there's this energy of having to balance things out and i feel like it's because this person really does take up a lot of your time and attention and it's because you both are really just infatuated with each other right now with the emperor here there is a rise in your career here so this could be what you are having to balance out trying to have trying to find the time for this relationship and for because i feel like for a lot of you this is something that started very casually or something that came unexpected out of the blue you're focusing on your career and all of a sudden a relationship comes so for some of you here with this energy this is saying that your career is taking a huge turn there's going to be a rise within your career some of you guys are going to be figuring out what your life purpose is others of you guys are up for a higher position in your job or you're starting a business some of you already have a business and this is just saying that it is very successful you could be expanding it here but there is this energy where your work is really needing your attention and you're going to have to focus on that as well this week so the balance between you know Focusing on your relationship, focusing on yourself, and focusing on your career. There's a balance. There's a lot of things, a lot of people screaming for your name, screaming for your attention, needing your attention, and, you know, not just people, but things, you know, places you gotta be, things you gotta do, and it's like right now you just kind of wanna turn the world off and just be with your loved one, but at the same time, there's all these people nagging at you. Uh, with the Wheel of Fortune in your future here, this is saying that things are going to take a huge change. There's going to be a huge turn. This could be December for you. Maybe things are going to start to get a lot easier. Balance is going to, you know, because with the Six of Hazards and the Emperor, it's like you are putting in the work into both. And it may be hard. You may just want to focus on this person, but you are still putting in the energy that you need to put in with your career here. Some of you guys might have, you know, gotten or requested loans for a business. And it looks like you are going to be getting that. Or if you needed a loan in any case here but it's like with this emperor you're rising in power so maybe you're able to hire somebody or maybe it's like things are going so well where you don't have to put so much work and energy into work and you can focus on their relationship but either way things are really aligning things are balancing out your debt this is your destiny you're on your destiny very very spiritual very very aligned reading that i'm sensing today and with the overall energy is the two of wands and underneath the two of wands we have the sun card here so i definitely sense that with this energy here this is you know this person that's coming into your life some of you it could be a leo some of you this could be a virgo or sagittarius or an aries here but i am sensing that this is somebody that is going to make you very very happy there's a lot of potential for marriage um long-term commitment here this is somebody that has the same goals and aspirations as you i definitely sense you two coming into partnership talking about partnership really getting to know one another and really finding out more about one another to really see how you guys can fit with each other in the future here very very serious like even if this is somebody new the way that well, for most of you, this is somebody new, but the way that this is going, it's like from the very beginning, you know, this is somebody that's going to be very straight up with you and um, you're never going to question anything with this person. All right, so let's clarify. Clarify the Ace of Wands. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Libra, please. So with the Ace of Wands, we have the star here. So a new opportunity that is going to be a wish fulfillment, a new opportunity after healing here. Um, a wish fulfillment, something that's going to be very, very healing. This is also a very intimate connection here. Spiritually intimate connection. Clarify the Two of Cups. With the Two of Cups, we have the Four of Cups. For some of you, this is an opportunity coming back around from a person that in your past... Uh, wasn't wasn't available or wasn't you know ready to accept this relationship due to the fact that, that they had options or they had healing here but for some of you this is definitely you know somebody coming back around for some of you this is somebody that you had offered your love to in the past and they weren't able to reciprocate that at the time and now they're coming in to match um, you know to level up the energies clarify the hermit for some of you it's the fact that you had offered your love to this person in the past they weren't able to reciprocate it so you went within and you kind of just you know avoided them they were trying to reach out trying to reach out and you were just kind of doing your own thing and that led them to reach out that led them that gave them the time that they needed to really think about this connection to really realize this connection to really miss you and realize you know what how valuable you are in their life and then they reach out to you Hermit with the five of, or sorry, two of cups with the five of pentacles here. So for some of you, yeah, this is definitely a situation where you were left out in the cold or this is a person from the past coming back, somebody that you had a falling out with. Um, but for some of you, there is no communication currently with this person and you will be hearing from them this week. That's surprising. Wow. Yeah, definitely. This is something that wasn't reciprocated either by you or by this person in the past. So some of you are going to be completely shocked when this person comes in. 
the tower. You guys are going to be shocked. Some of you aren't going to be happy about this. For some of you, there is a situation here where you had kind of fully moved on and you weren't really wanting, you know, you were, you kind of had enough of the situation and you wanted to just fully move on. And now that this person's coming back, you're going to be annoyed. But at the same time, there is a spiritual connection and you love them so much that you can't not try. You'll always wonder if you don't. So you will give them a chance, but you're just going to be annoyed that now they're coming back, you know? Um, but yeah, you're going to be shocked. Because it's like you're just doing your own thing and it's it's going to be so... Un the last moment that you would ever expect it is when this... They're probably going to be messaging you or knocking on your door. For some of you, this person will just knock on your door. Clarify the six of hazards. All right, we have the six of hazards with the eight of wands. So it looks like there's going to be communication here. There is a lot of communication coming in, balancing out this energies, balancing out the energies between um, you and this person, wanting to put more in, putting more effort, more energy, investing more into this connection. You guys are very, very communicative, like messages constantly throughout the days. Um, if you're not blocked with within communication. It, um, this is what is going to be happening or sorry if you're not blocked then this is what's currently happening But if you are blocked then this is what's gonna happen It's like this person has been waiting and wanting to communicate with you for a while now And now they finally know what they want to say so they're gonna be rushing in to communicate here lots of messages back and forth They're wanting to make peace here All right with the Emperor, we have the Death card here. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio here because this is two Scorpio cards coming out now. But I definitely sense that there was a transformation that happened um, or you guys are going through some sort of transformation when it comes to your career here. Some of you guys are ending a job and starting ending a job that you felt you were putting in too much and not getting enough out of or you weren't getting enough finance financial support um, from this job here and you're going to be starting your own business here. But there is an ending to some sort of job that wasn't making you happy and you're going to be starting a new job here. And clarify the two... Oh. Sorry, clarify the Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune with the Seven of Wands here. So for some of you, if there was um, an energy of th those of you that this person didn't reciprocate your feelings in the past, that is why this is coming in here. You standing up for yourself and not really fighting for this person after, it's like you expressed your feelings once, but you're not going to beg for this person. You're going to go off, do your own thing. When the right person comes, they'll come. And you embracing that energy and you know standing up for yourself is what's going to make this person end up coming back towards you here with this wheel of fortune and clarify the two of wands with the knight of swords yeah rushing in this person's going to be rushing in to communicate with you rushing in. it's almost like they're going to have an epiphany realizing exactly what this connection is here for some of you um and for those of you where this isn't a situation where it wasn't reciprocated and you're just kind of, you know, just meeting this person, things are going very smoothly here, then this is just saying that they're rushing in with communication about things that they've realized about the connection, wanting to talk about how things can move forward. This person is very action oriented, very, very fast moving in this connection here because they're very, very sure of what they want here. All right. So I have Aquarius, Scorpio, sorry guys, just give me one second. Alright, I have Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, let's see, and then Virgo. What can we get for Aquarius? If you're dealing with an Aquarius, for Libras dealing with Aquarius, please. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, we have the Seven of Wands here. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, it looks like this definitely was a situation where you were left out in the cold before, but it looks like you have fought, fought and off all the competition by literally doing nothing. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, Libra is dealing with Scorpios. Libra is dealing with a Scorpio. 
All right, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, we have the Four of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups here. It looks like there's gonna there's this energy of holding on, wanting to commit here. Somebody could be going from holding back to holding on, but there's this energy of realizing what this connection is, realizing how fulfilling it can be, thinking that this is as fulfilled as you will get and wanting to hold it down and lock it down. This person is wanting to lock this down because they realize that this is what will bring them true happiness. If you're dealing with a Virgo, oh, I forgot that these fell. If you're dealing with a Virgo, all right, if you are dealing with a Virgo, we have, all right, we have the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the Page of Swords here. So this looks like, um, I definitely sense that if you are dealing, I feel like, this is somebody that's coming in to offer you stability here, but you're going to be a little bit guarded towards this person. There's this energy that this person is um, trying to, you might have cut this person off and it looks like they are trying to, they could have come at you in a little bit of a petty way. You know, you could have really saw who this person was once you decided to cut them off here because it's like they were taking too long to give you what it is that you wanted. So you stood up for what you deserved here. And if you did cut this person off or while you were left out in the cold with this person, I definitely sense that they were looking at, you know, what it is that you were doing, trying to, you know, get a vibe as to if you were talking to other people or just kind of see like what it is that you do when they're not around kind of. They're coming in to offer you stability, but it looks like it's really going to be up to you because you're coming in very defensive towards them. Some of you may decide to, you know, ignore that offer and spy on them to see what they will do, or you may accept that offer but be guarded and spy on them um, for a little while or maybe forever, who knows, you know, until you feel like you can trust this person, until you feel like you can put your guard down, until they make you feel like you can put your guard down with them again. All right, if you're dealing with an Aries, Wow, the emperor with the emperor here. <laughs> if you're dealing with an Aries, this is that. Um, I definitely sense that the emperor is coming out with the emperor here. It's like this is somebody that is about to take action. This is somebody that is ready to, you know, um, move to the next ne level, especially because the emperor is an owner, right? The emperor owns things. The emperor wants to claim things here. So this is somebody that is really serious for commitment, ready for commitment here. And if you are dealing with, this person could have already had children here or this person was in a previous commitment here. For some of you, this person wasn't able to accept your offer because they were going through a divorce and now that divorce is finalized. And if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, Sagittarius, we have the King of Wands here. So it looks like this person is about to give you some honest, open communication about how they truly passionate, about how they feel about you. And they're about to share their, um, they feel a lot of emotions for you, especially intimately. They have a lot of passion for you, but they just keep it in. And it's like they're finally about to openly and honestly express these feelings towards you. And if you're dealing, if you're dealing with a Leo, all right, and if you're dealing with a Leo, we have the King of Cups here. So if you're dealing with a Leo, I definitely sense that this person is coming towards you. Some of you, this is somebody that lives at a distance from you that is traveling um, across sea to see you. Or this is just saying that um, it may take a little bit of time. It may take a little bit of time and it may be a little bit of a rocky road until this person can open up completely. But this is somebody that likes to take control. They like to be in control. So this is somebody that's going to want to come towards you and not have you, you know, come towards them. But I definitely feel like if you're dealing with a Leo, they're really contemplating right now how to go about, you know, giving you this offer that they want to give you here. It's almost like they're overthinking it in their mind here because they want it to play out a certain way. Any other messages for Libras? Okay, so we have deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. And we have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So I'm actually getting a different message than what I would normally get from these here. I'm almost sensing that with keep an open mind and deception, it's like, some of you guys may need to keep an open mind about, you know, 
somebody was spying and somebody thinks that somebody likes only a certain type and somebody's trying to be more like that type here in order for somebody to like them but at the end of the day they're gonna realize who you really are or you're gonna realize who they really are here so somebody needs to realize that you know just because somebody has a certain type it doesn't mean that that's the only thing that they like and if you you know that you need to be completely open and honest about who you are I don't sense this as deceiving as in a third party but I do sense this as in somebody's holding back who they really are because they want somebody to like them all right, but that is what I have for you. If you enjoyed this reading, um, feel free to subscribe. If you're interested in a personal reading based on you and your person's energy alone, then the information for that you guys can find in my description box below. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you guys soon. Bye, my loves.